portion of this video is sponsored by Adobe. Carry on. This is an embargo box. Maybe you're asking, what's an embargo? It's basically like a secret. I can open this box and look at what's inside, but I can't tell you guys until today when I post this video. I gotta keep it a secret. It's the brand new GoPro Hero 10. I can't believe we're on the 10th generation of GoPros. Definitely wasn't expecting that. that, that go, like, I thought it was a little bit of a big box for just GoPro. Did they send you a submarine? <laughs> a yacht. I, no joke, I've always wanted one of these. I think this is like a remote controlled boat. I've always wanted one of these as a kid. Oh man, this is, this is actually perfect. You take this. Thank you. The GoPro Hero 10 has the new GP2 processor, which basically means doubling everything. They now have 5.3K up to 60 frames per second, 4K up to 120 frames per second, and 2.7K up to 240 frames per second. And I am really interested in testing out 5K 4x3, which is what I use for the FPV flying. On top of that, new HyperSmooth 4.0, which is gonna be better stabilization. And they're saying they made the like kind of horizon leveling when you're shaking it like this, better from uh, 27 to 45 degrees. So you can go 45 degrees without you noticing, apparently the stabilization is really good. Faster wireless connections and faster startup, very important, plus more responsive touch screen, which if I'm honest, has always been a little bit of a gripe of mine with GoPros, it never really felt that responsive. But those are just specs on paper, you know how I do, we need to take this thing out to the real world and see how it actually holds up. <laughs> We're on a boat again. Uh, last time I came here, uh, Chris Howe, Hi. his dad showed me a good time. So this time I brought my own boat. You brought a boat onto <laughs> our boat. <laughs> we got a little duck on board here too. Yeah, that's that's Fred Howe actually. That's, oh. my, that's my cousin. I hope you don't oh, mind. Oh, sorry. You, well, sorry. you brought Teppo, yeah, I brought Fred. I didn't mean to offend Fred. I... Oh no, I mean, that's where he likes to hang out. He's, oh. just, he's going for a dip. gonna make us all look like the biggest noobs by showing us how this is done. Look like it's so easy, like anybody could do this, and then I know how hard it's gonna be to get up and ride this way. Feature Matty here. I've had a chance to look at the footage from the Hero 10 and I gotta say, it's pretty freaking great. Let's start off with the image. I think it's looking really nice. We were just kind of cutting it back and forth between uh, the Sony a7S III footage and the Hero 10 and it looks pretty good. Like yeah, it's not as good as my big fancy expensive camera, but it fits pretty well. It's, it doesn't feel jarring and just like out of place. Yeah, it has a bit of that wide GoPro look, 
But overall, I would say the image looks really nice. And having the option to go 5.3 up to 60 frames per second, you can do 120 frames per second in 4K looking incredible. And then all the way up to 240 frames per second in 2.7K, still the image is looking really great. I, I, I don't know, I, I'm pretty impressed so far with the new GP2 processor. And overall, I think GoPro has pretty nice colors compared to some of the competitors in this space. So yeah, first impressions were quite good. Also something I didn't mention is you can actually take up to 19.6 megapixel photos from your video footage. So you can just film your clip and then afterwards through the app, you can just grab a frame and make that into a 19.6 megapixel photo, which means it's gonna be much more convenient. It's kind of hard to take photos with a GoPro. It's never really been my thing. That makes it a lot more fun to get those photos. And it means you're not gonna miss that perfect moment because you're literally getting 24, 30 frames and then you can just choose one. Like you're guaranteed gonna get the moment. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty convenient. And then when you need to edit those photos, there is no better program out there than Lightroom. This portion of my video is sponsored by Adobe. Photography has obviously played a massive role in my career. And if there's one program that just fits perfectly in my workflow, it's Lightroom. There's literally no better program to edit photos in in terms of control and ease of use. I could not edit my Instagram photos and my thumbnails without Lightroom. And as a YouTuber, thumbnails are so incredibly important nowadays in terms of getting my videos out there. So I will spend hours on a thumbnail tweaking every single last thing I can to make that thumbnail pop just a little bit more in hopes that more people will see my videos. I really think the best part of Lightroom is the unmatched editing control you have, but done in a fast and most importantly, simple way. I can make my photos come to life with my style by using the professional presets in Lightroom or use my own personal presets as a starting point, which gets me really close to the final product. And then I can tweak and refine the contrast and colors through their simple sliders, the HSL controls, the curve, go in and adjust specific areas with the brushes or even remove unwanted stuff with just a few clicks. It's really fun and easy to make your own presets and the colors and the pop that you can get in your photos, it's no wonder that pretty much every photographer out there uses Lightroom. They even have this new super resolution feature where with the use of AI, artificial intelligence, you can actually increase the resolution of your photo by up to four times with surprisingly accurate results. This means you can take your older photos and increase the resolution, literally make them better than when you took them, or take any photo and crop in way further than you normally would and get a completely new photo out of it. If you want the best program to edit your photos and get those colors you've always wanted to, I can confidently recommend Lightroom. There's no other program I would rather use to edit my photos. Thanks again, Adobe, for sponsoring this portion of my video. Now back to the Hero 10. Bon voyage! Step must turn to try. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Step, are you nervous? Not at all. <laughs> And this one's just like, you can stand now. Okay. All right, standing. That foot destroyed it. That's my time. My time to jump in. Makes me feel like you're eight years old again. Love it. 
Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Dave. You guys are great. I finally hit infinite surf. That was the first time where I felt like, okay, I got this now. Surfing has been done. We had, we reached infinite surf for a little bit there. Uh, Chris was just, just cruising, like no problems. 360 <laughs> shove it, everything. Now we're, we're that was doing some sort of, what are, <laughs> I'm in a high critical situation right now. I need to get this. Disarming the, the, the bomb here. <laughs> Putting together the boat. Gotta try out the boat. GoPro sends you an RC boat. You gotta try it out, so that's next. Yeah. Batteries installed, it's time to check out the power. <laughs> <laughs> that's transformer stuff right there. Holy shit. All right, uh, hopefully we don't, we don't lose the brand new GoPro here. <laughs> I've never done this before. Do we just like throw it over? <laughs> do, we just, do we just send maybe, it off? Maybe we send it off the maybe back. Maybe we should check the angle first. <laughs> what are we even doing here? Okay, yeah, okay. Bon voyage. All right, does it float? Imagine. <laughs> yeah, imagine it did it. GoPro's gone. <laughs> 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 You're having this the best is, day ever. This is actually so... I legit have always, always wanted an RC boat. It's like the coolest thing ever. I love that just phrase. Chris literally saw this and was like, I have oh, I've literally been looking at, you've been looking at these, right? Oh, no, today. <laughs> you brought it. I was like, I was on an RC website today. Well, here it is. Just about. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> GoPro, you guys should probably just make these boats too. <laughs> oh my god. Chris, I don't think you're getting any good GoPro shots of the GoPro. GoPro. <laughs> Best footage of the sky ever. <laughs> best footage. <laughs> best test footage right here. We're the best testers by far. Okay, step was turned. Uh, hold on. Oh, slow mo. Oh, slow mo. <laughs> yeah, yes. Not this way. Hold on. Uh oh. How did you do? How did you do the flip? How did you say you do it? He said forwards and then backwards, but. Oh no, that my flip there! That we broke our toy! Oh no! I think we lost that girl. I'll go swim and get it. <laughs> swim of shame. Oh, I can go, it's okay. I'll do the walk of shame. <laughs> well, that, the fun lasted for a little while. That doesn't mean it's like done forever, does it? <laughs> Dude, I'm so jealous you have this. I mean, like, knock on your door and be like, can I have your RC boat? Can, can I? Jen's gonna rip it. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Childhood dreams are being lived out right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you can do it! You can make it over! Yes, go back! Oh, wow, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is probably the best. We're just gonna have to start filming with this way more because the footage is just so good. Of course, that we have to do it for the footage. <laughs> it's the most cinematic way to get footage, so we're gonna have to start driving this boat around a lot more. <laughs> now it's time for the champ to ride. The the best rider in the boat by far, uh, no, right here. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Let's let's see let's see what you're made of. Papa Oh, 
top it off with a little James riding boss over there. Your dad is such a champ. Yo, right? <laughs> I hope I'm him when I'm older. Yeah, we can There's only a good hope. <laughs> oh man, what a day. GoPro, thank you for letting me test this thing out. Uh, let's get back to the office and give some final thoughts. So yes, with the new processor, the GP2, we're getting more frame rates, but is it really faster in terms of startup and responsiveness? Well, let's test it. Here is the Hero 9, Hero 10. We're gonna do a startup test. Three, two, one. Okay, so it's a little bit faster, not by not by a drastic amount, I would say, but there are times where <laughs> even that split second counts and the Hero 10 definitely starts up a little bit faster. And in terms of responsiveness, I would say I noticed a difference right away. I wouldn't say it's as good as let's say my iPhone, but it is more responsive now. It feels a little bit better. Sometimes with the Hero 9, for example, I do a swipe and nothing really happened. I'm getting much better control of the settings with the Hero 10. Probably one of the craziest updates is the stabilization, which was already really good, but the new horizon leveling, it's kind of crazy. So watch this, we can film, uh, myself turn it that much and you don't see any tilting the horizon states completely level all the way up to that much <laughs> that's crazy you can do this much turning and the horizon stays completely level just walk with me for a second look how stable i'm just tilting and turning this and look how stable <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Now, the downside is it's only in the linear mode. You don't get in the wide mode, but still, that's really impressive. For reference, uh, here's just like the normal stabilization. This is what it looks like. I'm, I'm gonna do some parkour. Parkour! Running, running. Ah! How stable is it, guys? Is it good? Uh, so that's normal stabilization, then we'll do boost. Did you like my parkour skills? Yes. Boost parkour! This is the boost stabilization. Ninja kick! Oh, oh! I'm getting way too old for this. Uh, was it stable? For time lapses, there's some really interesting features. You can now literally schedule a time when the GoPro is gonna turn on and start recording. So let's say, for example, you wanna get that nice sunrise time lapse. And instead of actually waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning, you can set it up the night before, schedule so it'll start up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or whatever you want. Now the Hero 10 will wake up at that time and start recording while you are sleeping in your bed comfortably and getting well rested. And then maybe you're saying, well, that's great, but my battery's gonna be completely dead. It's gonna screw me over for that day. Well, they have you covered with duration capture. You can choose how long the GoPro will be running for. So yeah, that's, that's pretty convenient. Did I mention they made the lens cover super hydrophobic so water doesn't really stick to it that much anymore? That's also very handy. I, it, it still definitely does stick to it, but I found that there's like smaller droplets and it's easier to get off there. Whereas like sometimes it's like so hard to get the water off the cover. So yeah, that's a pretty cool new feature. So overall, the best new feature of the Hero 10 is the propeller. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Thanks GoPro for letting me check it out. Great update. The Hero 10 is a really capable camera. And I've been a little hard on GoPro, but ever since I got really into FPV, man, I've just been loving using the GoPros. There's just something really nice about the image, how wide and dynamic it is. I'm so hooked on FPV and every time I capture some of that footage, ah, yeah. Sorry, GoPro, for being a little rough on you, but uh, yeah, this was great, <laughs> especially the propeller. All right, see you guys.